welcome to Perspective Now. I'm Marcus, and I'm here with none other than Nunyab and our very special guest, Radical Reggie. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> hey, everybody. We've got a really good show for you today. It's 1984 sci-fi movies. Yes. And we have uh, assembled a very great list of 10 previews that we're going to tell you what we think right now of those yes. previews as though we were watching them now. Yeah, this is almost like a, a birthday gift, man. This is really, I'm really excited to get through these, man. Yes. yes. For those of you who don't know, we'll leave the date undisclosed, but it's it's Reggie's birthday right right now. Oh. And, and so even though when you watch this, it won't be his birthday, you can see his birthday glow. His aura is uh, emanating brilliance yes. and wisdom today as he becomes a year older. Deep. That is, yeah. that is so true. You went into detail on that, man. That's Let's do it. We are going to the monitor now to just jump right into the weirdness that is sci-fi in 1984. Happy birthday, Reggie. Yeah, happy birthday, man. Okay, that's... The time is year 23 after the cancellation. That didn't even look like Earth. What used to be known as the United... Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Jumped ahead there. Nunyub is just playing around with the controls. The it's okay, everybody. The place is what Here we used go. to be known as the United States of America. Oh, right. The question is, who will live and who will die? Oh. Oh. Nice Out music. Of the ashes of devastation and anarchy rises a new hope. She. <gasps> Allah is she, the goddess. Who's your god? Our god. We don't have a god. We do business. Hell. Wow. <laughs> Food, women, and war. Totally 80s. Is this one of those like fight and dine? Medieval diner places? This is this is similar to the plot of like He Man with Dolph Lundgren. Brandon wow, this is awesome music. <laughs> Those are sex swings. I killed more men. What the? Let's go. What? A new love story. I can't wait to get the soundtrack. Get this one out. Hey, listen, I really am sorry. Speak only when it's spoken to. Damn. This is. This is real? This isn't like a parody? Original music by Rick Wakeman, Justin Hayward, Motorhead, and Bastard. Motorhead? Another ten. We'll never make it. A new movie-going experience based on the classic Ryder Haggard novel starring Sandow Bergman. I'll kill the bastards for this. She. She. I get your point. Whoa, man. That was some weird shit. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I don't know, you guys all watched it, I don't need to go over that, but that was, uh, that was hot. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah, that was, uh, that looked 
pretty cool. Uh, I couldn't follow it completely. At first, I thought it was uh, taking us in the direction of, like, the opposites of The Handmaid's Tale or, you know, like, where mm -hmm. the women yeah. had taken over, and yet it's... Uh, there was all kinds of sci-fi stuff that I did not pick up on. It looked fun to watch. I'm going to go with uh, Gotta Have It. Okay. Gotta Have It. Gotta uh, Have It. I'm going to agree with Nunya. Um, you know, there was a lot of action in it. Lots of skin, as you guys saw. I had a sex swing that Marcus saw in there. Um, that's, that's, that's cool. Um, it seemed like it was just fun. And, you know, everybody's having a good time. I mean, despite... The war stuff, you know, eating, you know, meeting. I don't know. It's I, I'm gonna say I gotta have it as well. I want to check this one out. Gotta have it. Gotta have yeah, it. I've never heard of that movie ever. I feel like I was yeah. in an alternate dimension watching that. Yeah, the music was a bonus too. Yeah, yeah, and Motorhead. That's cool. Yeah. Let's see what else we have in store for us. Now, this from is 1984. Meta. Yeah, th this is very meta. This is 84. Oh, there's like Ian, Ian McKellum. Private reflection mm -hmm. outside party needs. You're so pretty. Uh. Unorthodox loyalties, which can only lead to thought crime. Truth. And there is truth. Is this the you think this is the original theater theatrical trailer? We're gonna have to talk to Denny, our production assistant. Uh, it is it Ian McKellum? Is that his name? Right. Courage, strength, and youth are sacrificed. Who are there? Are thought criminals who maintain that resistance is not real. Believe me, Winston. It's very real. Big brother. From the age of the thought police. Thirty to forty group. Take your places, please. Double plus good this. Junior. I didn't think there's a single piece of meat in this. There's no way this is the original theater theatrical trailer. That music is like, this is like, this is something weird. The individual is only a cell. Who's that guy? Is that Anthony Hopkins? I've never seen this. Okay, I'm going to start. Unfortunately, trash it. Yeah. Uh, I... <clears throat> trash it. Trash it. Uh, I think that somebody remade this trailer because there's no way that was done in '84, and uh, I'm sorry, but that was that was it, a terrible. It gave away a lot of the plot too. Yeah, and a terrible trailer, terrible music choice. I would like to see the original '84 trailer, uh, not the one with Lord of the Rings. Well, actually, is it, wasn't that Gandalf? They didn't even say the cast. Maybe it's not over. Is it not over, Nunyam? Is there more? Doesn't no. look like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lame. Lame. Yeah. Uh, you know, having heard of 1984 in the lexicon of, you know, society, I had not seen it. And now I feel like I, I pretty much have. Yeah, you know, we have. Uh, we've did, all watched we, it. We've seen yeah. it at this point. Um, <laughs> but you're right. It did not make me want to see that movie. Uh, trash it. Yeah. Yeah. What a... Hmm. Rash, Missed opportunity there. Because mm. what's some, supposed to be a classic, I guess, didn't seem classic. Yeah. Hmm. Move it along. Move it along. 
Oh, I like that. Your blind date is coming. Seems fun. No wonder you're a little nervous. Oh. But don't worry. He goes out with a lot of What a great girl. view right there. <laughs> and he knows how to treat a lady. He's not wired quite right. Reminds me of American Psycho. Oh my god, he's playing an Atari 2600. But he knows how to have a good time. Oh, it's Christiali! Christiali, yeah! Was. That's awesome. Right. Thank you for redeeming our Danny. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, rad. 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 Totally 80s. Great right. music. Great announcer. We uh, had lots of neon. He was even like touching the neon. Mm -hmm. Can't get closer to neon than that. I was already sold on it. But when I saw Christy Alley in it, I was like, yes, got to have it. Got to have it. Got to have it. Uh, you're both saying it well. Uh, the fact is the the trailer was awesome. I mean, like it's the exact opposite of the previous trailer, and that that just makes you want to see that movie. Uh, and so, yeah, gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Good work, Denny. Way to redeem yourself. Yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> they have a high budget. <laughs> Two roars. How are you going to convince your people to allow Americans to go on the flight? Oh yeah, we dude, this movie's awesome. Birth, and you have the knowledge to it's make the like trip work. Blue Stinger or something. I'm going on the flight. How far away is Jupiter? Far. Mommy said you're going to be asleep for a long time. Are you going to die? Doctor Floyd. Dr. Floyd, Dr. Arlov has encountered some strange data coming from Europe. So cool. I'll send Max down with a pod. I wouldn't do that. Oh, really? You want to send a pod down there? Where's Schneider? On oh, it's hey. John Lithgow. A piece of pie. Cake. Piece of cake. cake. It is John Lithgow. Oh, my God. If this data is correct, then there's something down there. It is correct. It was organic. There was life. Is it moving? Yes. It's incredible. Listen for a minute. We've got to get out of here. I can't just order us to leave here for no reason. Well, forget reason. Oh, is There's this no 2001 part two or something? What is going on? 2010. Oh. Can't find him. Are you sure you are making the right decision? Oh, I remember this I think now. We should stop. Well, this is a sequel. Evil. Yeah, how? You see, something's going to happen. What? Something wonderful. Is that Superman? <laughs> There's the obelisk. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. I saw this one time. One time. I barely remember it at all. I totally have rewatched the original one multiple times. But. <gasps> great preview. Super awesome. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if Stanley Kubrick had anything to do with this. Did it say? You guys noticed? I did not see. Well, either way. John Lithgow, Roy Schneider. 
I'm not sure who else, but uh, definitely. Yeah, let's go with let's go with uh, gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Um, it was a bit weird to me, but having Roy Schneider in there, John Lithgow really helped it for me. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say that was hot. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah, I uh, I think it looked like a good movie. It looked like an interesting uh, plot line. It looked like you know had all the same feels as the original, and the music is just obviously uh, prolific. So I'm gonna go with Reggie. That's hot. Hmm. Interesting. That's hot. That's hot. Yeah. Mm. Ha! There you go. Rush. No. Hmm. Hmm. Clovis. There's something over there. Just kidding. <laughs> right there. Buckaroo Bonsai. It's the latest issue. Oh my God, that's uh... Peter Weller. Yeah. Robocop. John Lithgow! John again. Lithgow! The alien dude! Arcade! I've never seen this. What is this? The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. Got it! What? Buckaroo, President's on line one, calling about is everything okay with the alien space club from Planet 10, or should he just go ahead oh and God. destroy Russia? Tell him yes on one and no on two. Uh, which was yes, destroy Russia or uh, the number two? <laughs> I'm making a note Stop. immediately to John watch this. Warping before sunset. I'm not ready for this. So what? Be deep. Yeah. Space monster's my ass. Yeah. Is that Mike? Yeah! From Better Call Saul and Breaking Bad? It's Mike, yep. What? And also 48 hours as well. They all got the same first name. John, 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 John. These are Martian names. John, 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 Icicle Boy. John Smallberries? It's a joke. 1984 is looking pretty good. John Big Boutte, officer. Head of operations, Yo-Yo Dying Propulsion System. Hey, Whoa, you know, Christopher birds. Lloyd! Yeah, that guy! Hello, over there, one of your birds, too. Troy, you mean? Let's cover this guy up. And that guy! Nice <laughs> night, huh? The guy from <laughs> Ghost! Three man the movie pop. Ghost. He was, he was the ghost on the, on the subway yes. train. Top I was always super. pissed off. He's also that creepy dentist in that movie, right? You ever thought about Horror um, movie dentist one? I forget no. what it's called. Oh, Siam. Oh, Siam? Can you sing? A little? Yeah, I can dance. Perhaps John Parker will get through with Whoa. a message to Buckaroo Banzai. There is no time. Who are you really trying to kill? Her? What's her name? I know her name. Buckaroo Banzai. Let her out. Oh. She's a killer. That's that yeah, guy from that, then give your that guy movie with the car. And his name's Reno. Reno. Oh, I can't remember That's these people's honor. names. Where do you hail from, Doc? Uh, New Jersey. Fort Lee. Hey, where are your spurs at? <laughs> Once you make in front of me. Yeah, he was. Hey, of course it's me, you fool. Who do you think? Well, haven't you heard? Don't you watch the TV? Banazai and Hikita have done it. I'm on the edge of my seat right now. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of watching the whole movie. It does, it does feel a little bit like that. This is how Top Gun opened, by the way, in the new one. Do you read? Advise your board, over. Repeat, advise you cancel phase two. What the hell's phase two? What the hell's phase one? 
you know. be cool. It's Jack, buckaroo. It's Jack. It's off my scope. Calling all blue blazer regulars in the Garden State. Buckaroo in trouble. This is Scooter Lindy. Junior blue blazer regular. Remember those cups? Hang on. Remember those cups there? Dad, you guys? Dad, mm -hmm. Buckaroo's in trouble. Say what? Say what? Launch thermal pod. <laughs> thermal pod launch. We are watching the whole movie. This cannot be the whole movie. Look at this. What is this? this Whoa! Is, is it halfway beyond. over? <laughs> We're gonna just say that this movie looks awesome. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> this was not a preview. Uh, I gotta, I'm just gonna go out and rank it first. Gotta have it. Gotta right have on, it. Right right on. On. And I, I'm gonna say the same as well. Gotta have it. Okay. Gotta have it. Gotta have uh, it. looks great. I mean, <laughs> I can't wait. I can't believe the all-star cast that's in it, but wow. Mm -hmm. What a preview. Uh, uh, Denny, Denny, if you're watching this, we're gonna have to have a meeting, uh, with you yeah. after the show. Anyway, uh, Rad. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know why we keep going through assistance, but... Yeah. <laughs> What's your preference? Apple? Pear? Wang? Oh, listen, I don't know anything about computers. Nobody does. Miles just bought a computer, and uh -huh. he got more than he bargained for. You're talking. You know this. Madeline just moved in upstairs. That guy talks like Ross she's from Friends. Girl David Schwimmer. For. I can't play that for her. I want to squeeze you, lick you, pucker up, and kiss you. You make her sound like a lemon. But I don't is that know David Schwimmer? You never told me. Did you write that for me? No, well, I mean, did you like it? When Edgar comes between them, I want to meet Remember this movie? Things start to get electric. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're taking over my life. Yeah, I don't. Whoa, sweet. Champagne to death. song Just check to make sure we're more than halfway through on this one. Yep. Isn't this just Siri? Mm. It's just a little yeah. bit of a Siri ahead of their time. Actually, I didn't see that. Are you sure you don't have a dog? No, just a pest. Uh, interesting. That was wanna, great. Go ahead. Go ahead, Reggie. I want to start. I, I remember seeing this movie when I was a kid. Uh, I didn't understand what was going on, but I remember the computer, and I always wondered what this movie was. So I'm gonna say um, that was rad. I, I want to check this out. Yeah. Rad. Mm hmm. Then mm -hmm. what do you think? Mm hmm. Uh, it's now it's scarier that it's like you know your virtual assistant that seems cool at first and that is not cool, um, but then got seemingly cooler towards the end. <laughs> I guess I'm, I'm not really sure where that relationship ends, but. Uh, it's uh, it's timely. It's good. I think it's great. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Uh, I love the aesthetics. The editing was good. The music was cool. Looked like you can see down there, Culture Club. Yeah. Ville Oakley. Whoa. Heaven something. Anyway, I liked it. It looked cool. I want to watch it. I've never seen it. Totally up my alley. Definitely rad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rad. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. That, that music was awesome. 
for it. Electric Dreams. I'm write that one down too. In 1977, Voyager 2 was launched into space to the outermost regions of the universe. It carried an invitation in all languages for alien life forms to visit our planet. Someone, somewhere, listened and accepted our invitation. Get ready. Someone is coming. Someone like no one she has ever known before. Can you clone a living organism from the hair of a dead man? We're hypothesizing a technology that's probably 100,000 years ahead of me. He has powers we cannot imagine, and the face and touch of the man she loved. I said greetings. What's the matter with you? How much English do you understand? I understand readings in 54 planet Earth languages. Do you seriously expect me to tell the president that an alien has landed, assumed the identity of a dead house painter, and is presently out tooling around the countryside in a hopped up 1977 Mustang? You're not from around here, are you? Think of what it would mean to talk to a being from a civilization like that. Think of what we could learn. I don't understand. There isn't much time, please. He doesn't want to hurt anybody. Can't you just leave him alone? What the hell ever happened to good manners? We invited him here. So far to come. So much to do. So little time so much to, to fall do. in love. It cuts to them. Look up. Company's coming. John Carpenter's Starman. I've never seen this movie and I always wanted to. And now I, I feel like that's hot. I, I got to check this out. Yeah. Dad. Uh, I have seen this. I remember actually seeing uh, the previews like for films when I would go as a little young boy to the theater. I remember Starman. I thought it looked really boring when I was a kid, but I did see it when I was like 10 or something and I liked it. I thought it was cool. It was not, it was kind of slow, though, compared to, like, you know, other movies. So mm-hmm. kind of more of like a, I don't know. Anyway, John Carpenter, how can you not say it's rad? Rad. rad. Plus Jeff Bridges. Well, and Karen yeah, we're all, Come on. We're all just in agreement here because this looked so cool. Uh, it does feel rude on Earth's part. We invite them. We're not nice once they get here. Just a, not a good look on our part. Uh, with that said... Absolutely rad. Yeah. Rad. Executive producer Michael Douglas. I saw that. I don't know if it's the real Michael Douglas. Or just some guy named Mike. Or From the depths of the earth. Through the shrouded mist. It is I like coming. this narrator. The final phase of an accident of nature. That's how you know it's Nothing going human to have this in its veins and lip. It is unexplainable. Ew. Oh. Unbelievable and uncontrollable. You can't see it in the darkness. Oh, God. Or hear it in the silence. But you can feel its presence and sense the danger. Ah. Mutant. Don't go out there. It's time has come. Me. Me. Mutant. Any one of us could be one of them. There is no place left to run. Nowhere left to hide. And there is no escape. We're gonna get out of here, you understand me? We're gonna get out. No! Mankind's deadliest threat would not come from the skies. Mutant. This film brought to you by Magneto. Damn, dude. I don't know. That was pretty crazy. I like it. It looked good. It looked a little more like a zombie movie. Just for that, I'm going to give it a ew. 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 Um, it wasn't too impressive to me. It was a little bit too dark. 
you know, so, you know, um, I'm going to go with meh. Hmm. Meh. I just feel like this was, you know, them trying to indoctrinate the people that are against the X-Men. I hate it. Mm. Got to trash it. Mm. Trash it. Trash it. It was October, 1943. The United States government authorized an experiment that would render its ships undetectable by radar. The experiment took place on a ship in Philadelphia Harbor. Generators activated, sir. For 41 years, the government denied it ever happened. Your whole society. I don't believe this. The Eldridge has vanished. Of course she has. She's radar invisible. No, sir. She's really vanished. But one ship did disappear, and two of the crew suddenly find themselves in the present. Maybe all this isn't real. You tell me this is my imagination? You think the Navy knows what they're doing? You saw the guys on the boat? This wasn't supposed to happen, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Michael Pere. Somehow we got moved in time. This now, this time, it's not ours. 1943 was yesterday for me. Nancy Allen. What sort of experiment is it? That's uh, Lewis from Robocop. Thing, is that it? Whoa, Whoa. yeah, Reggie. It's your birthday, dude. <laughs> I believe that you believe it. And Bobby DiCicco. Don't leave me there. Can't go through this again. Oh, not the Venetian blinds. Philadelphia experiment. They opened a hole in time, and it stayed open. Good God, there it is. Hey, it's that guy. I always forget his name. Now the government needs the one man who can stop the experiment. Steven something. Is that Woody Allen? Oh, it's that guy, Steven whatever. He's in like Memento. He's in that one Steven Seagal movie. You know. Now we can't stop it, but I believe that you can. He's lying, David. I wish to God I will. I gotta go. Communication ceases when you enter the vortex. We won't be able to help you. Go! A Philadelphia experiment. You know, I remember renting this one time when I was a little kid. And uh, we also rented, uh, what was it, on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Remember that game system, guys? We rented the, uh, I can't remember what game it was. Doesn't matter. Boy and His Blob? Anyway, we just played Boy and His Blob. We turned this movie off. We're like, this shit. It's lame. So that's what I'm gonna say. Lame. I seem to remember two movie or didn't we do a different movie on perspective now, previous episode, where somebody they were the Navy took you back in time. And I remember saying, Well, at least they've got like modern weapons against like old timiness. This is like the opposite plot line, basically. Uh, but seen it, trash it. Um, Fresh, it. it was okay. I mean, it's just I don't know. I mean, I like that Lewis was in it. The actress who played Lewis and Robocop, but yeah, it wasn't enough to suck me in. So I'm gonna go with meh. Yeah, I'd rather just watch Robocop. You know. Yeah. That's meh. Yeah. 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 John Carpenter. No, it wasn't. It was I'm Jack Death. It wasn't really true for the 23rd century. Jack Death, Angel City PD, may I see your stats? The Philadelphia Experiment? What did I do? Under Section 7 he was of the, on the Penal Code, the Council authorized me to administer it. you a transfer suspect examination. You can't I think it was his movie. Without involved. a warrant. I got your warrant right here, pal. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want any trouble. Hold that. My job is hunting transfers. I got nothing to hide. Oh, it's like a Blade Runner ripoff. Finding them. Negative. And singeing them. Look out! Ah! 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 Ah!
Speedy looks badass. Yeah. Of course, sometimes they find me first. Then it's a little more complicated. Oh! How do you know Whistler's location? We monitored a line disruption in Los Angeles, December 1985. Van Zant, Ash, and I all had ancestors in the city then. If you think I'm bringing that scum up the line, you got the wrong trooper. Unless you stop Whistler, everything the council has accomplished for the last four years will count for nothing. Okay, let's say I believe this. You're a cop from the future, and you're chasing this guy, Piper. Whistler. Why doesn't he just turn you into one of these zombies? Or me? Trancing only works on squids. People with weak minds, easily controlled. Lena, I'm from another time, another world. I don't even know what you people eat for lunch. Okay, I got fried rice, egg rolls, and beef chow mein. Beef? You like from a cow? Is that Treat Williams? Third century. I didn't know how hot it could get. Jack? How's my tan? It was getting hotter all the time. Jack? I guess I just attract a certain element no matter what century I'm in. This way, mister! Anyway, I gotta run now. I wanna ride with the lady. Over here, Ashby! They're sweet mopeds. Hey. <laughs> <Jeez. Ugh. laughs> sure enough, oh. I kept my coat, coach. No. Jack Death is back. Jack Death? And he's never even been here before. Trancers. Sense. Uh, wow, rad. rad. It looks so bad, it's great. I'm writing that one down too. Never seen That's, it. I think that was, was that. Sorry, Treat no, Williams, right? That wasn't Treat Williams, no. He, he would have been way younger in that. Yeah, no, that's not him. Who was that guy? He could have been like his older, like his dad or something, but it's not Treat Williams. Hmm. That was awesome. Yeah, I, uh, Whoa, you know, none I'm yet. sorry there. Bro, sorry. Bro. Forgive me, I, I just got so <laughs> flustered on that. At first I thought it was bad, and then it like turned really awesome, and it just threw me off completely. And uh, Yeah, I, I'm going to go with the, the did look rad. Okay. Uh, rad. Rad. Um, you know, I got to say, I, I got thrown off by this whole year. At first I thought it was a meh year, and then all Reggie's these just... Reggie didn't give yeah. his thing yet. Please oh, no. You, oh, you, he's going to talk. I was going to just chime in after him. I, I thought that it was a radical, you know? Oh, uh, everybody was... liked rad. Okay. okay. Rad. My bad. My bad. It was rad. Yeah. Radical Reggie coming in with the rad. Didn't mean to cut you off. More to say there, please, Reggie? No, nothing more to say. You know, I just yeah. a lot of these movies that we're watching, I, I want to watch a lot of them. So I'm like, man, yeah. I need to be writing them down like Marcus but. Hopefully, none of you can just send me the links to them. I mean, the list for, to me, email them. Yeah. We can talk you to know. our uh, assistant, Denny, but he may no longer be with the <laughs> Okay. After today. I mean, I originally thought this was a meh year, but having seen all of those trailers, sci fi in 84, pretty, pretty cool, if you ask me. And that's that's our list, gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Wow. Let us know yeah. what you want to see. I wrote down Buckaroo, Bonsai, Electric Dreams, yeah. and Tracers. Trancers. Trancers. I want to see all three of those. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Until next time, you know what you're going to do. You're going to keep that shit retro by having a birthday just like Reggie later on. Mm -hmm.